Well, it's been a minute. Hopefully you guys haven't missed me too much. We've got the Sur on here because we're gonna knock some dust off of it. It's time to do a upgrade that I've been waiting for for quite some time. And I uh, hesitate to say exactly how long, but you guys can figure it out. We've been waiting quite a while for this upgrade, but it's finally here. And I'm gonna show it to you today. This is the first step in going to the next level as if we needed to do that at all. As you guys know, with world's fastest Suron, 102 plus miles per hour, GPS, dual GPS proven. And uh, we've got a host of upgrades on it already. As you can see, we've got stuff from Torp, Darwin EV, Warp 9, the whole shebang. We've got upgraded brakes to match. So. Either way, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be upgrading the battery once again. Technology keeps advancing. 72 volts is out. It's time to go with more voltage. So what we've got over here is the next bat, next step from Darwin EV. And we're going to be going to the next level with this bad boy. As you can see right here, this is their Pro 79.2, 45 amp hour, 17 kilowatt battery. And I can tell you something right now. This, to me, is really cool. I love this interface. We've got, first of all, QSA big connector right here, ready to go, as you can see. And uh, charging port right here on the side. Easy enough. This is all CE rated, so you know it's safe. And check this out. Metal case also, I want to make sure I point that out. And this little button right here turns on the display. You got a full color display. This is so cool. And this gives you all of your information that you need on the battery right there. Let's get this thing loaded up. We're gonna put this into the Suron. It should be a direct fit. Shouldn't need anything else to go from what we already have in there to this. It's the next generation. I'm excited for this. A little more juice. That's 72 volts. So another eight volts on tap is gonna give us a significant boost in RPM and performance. This should make us actually go faster. Uh, how much faster? I don't know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna promise anything, but I do wanna say we're gonna put it on the dyno and we're gonna test to see if the power gains are real uh, and just exactly what we can expect out of such a cool battery. We've got the charger. We also have to upgrade the cables because this is something everyone should do. Uh, I have upgraded cables on mine already, but I'm going to do it just for the sake of the kit because this kit not only comes with the cables, but a bigger breaker. Because as you know, the factory breaker will start tripping uh, when you start to really tax it. So this bigger breaker, we're gonna install this. I'm gonna take a look and see how it installs because I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but with these big cables, we should be able to get all the juice out of this battery with ease. So let's go ahead, pull out the old battery. I hate saying old, it's not that old, but this battery, let's pull out this battery and uh, put in the cables, the breaker, and see how things fit. Comparison, the old battery is actually bigger, taller than the new battery. So that's one thing I'm interested to see. So uh, I believe the spacers on the, on the uh, door here, we should be able to take those off. So we have little spacers here to add extra height. Let's see, we might be able to take those off now considering that drop in height. That's kind of cool. Also, you can see visibly bigger cables. This is what was on the old battery. I believe that's an eight gauge. And then we've got six gauge here. So considerably less resistance. This is gonna really be, that's a good match too for the QS8. That's, that's a really significant increase in cable size. You can see the space on the connector there. Well, here, now it's taken up really solid. 
Okay. So as I already mentioned, here we go. We've got significantly larger cables. This is your eight gauge stock on a 100 amp breaker. You can see right there. That's battery amps, not obviously not phase amps. And uh, here we go, 250 amps on this new breaker. And there, it's an exact same size replacement goes in the exact same spot so you don't have to worry about anything has the same plugs on it and everything just the qs8 and these nice covered terminals to go on the controller all right got the new breaker in new cables connected to the torp tc1000 right there and these nice covers to go over the terminals so let's go ahead and test fit the battery now. Battery slipped right in. Perfect. Even got to take the spacers out. Cover closes, no problem. And you can see the screen will show up right through the window. So that is really, really good. Perfect fit. This is a perfect fit. I'm gonna say. Let's turn the screen on here. Take a look and see what it looks like through. You can see the next bat logo. And there you go. Fully visible through the window. You can get all your information while you're riding. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's great. Charging port right here, accessible with the door closed, obviously. Uh, so you can charge it in the bike. You don't have to, you don't have to take it out. So let's flip the breaker and reconfigure the torque for the higher voltage. And we should be ready to rumble. Okay, we've went ahead into the torp app, calibrated everything. And here we can see, torp app comes on. We've got everything set up, our two modes. There's sport, eco, I have regen. And when you touch the throttle, the screen comes on. And everything gets displayed there. And then after a few seconds of idle, it will turn the screen off after a little bit. So overall, really good. We still have our USB port here. Everything works as it should. Lights, all good. So compatibility with this battery is perfect. Literally Perfect, awesome job from Darwin EV and the Next Bat Boys. This is killer, and I can't wait. It's rainy today. It's actually not raining right now, but it's all wet, so I'm not going out there. But we're going to go out on a dry day, and we're going to test this out. And uh, there's more to this. There's more to this, guys. This is just the first step. Either way, um, we'll take it for a little test drive. Actually, we'll put it on the dyno, and we'll see how the power looks. Hopefully, we don't strip a belt. I'm down to one or two more belts here. But we'll see what the power looks like. According to the app, this thing should be knocking close to 29 kilowatts, where we were like 21 kilowatts before. So whew, that's, that's pretty heavy. We're still on the, on the uh, TM25 five motor as well so uh there is a, a bigger motor you guys know we got to do that but first we're going to test it on the dyno with this battery let's go ahead and see what she does all right so we've got the sir on, on the dyno with the new battery let's go ahead and make a pull and see if there's any difference in power we'll overlay it with the last run with the previous battery and see exactly what gains there are. Hopefully we see something. I'm gonna ramp up slowly. I'm not gonna just punch it out of the hole because it'll just strip the belt.
right, that was pretty, pretty solid. The power, oh man, I know what I saw pop up. I'm gonna show you. So old run, max power was right here. 26 horsepower with the old battery. Uh, it was pretty solid, 26 horsepower before. Now, 31 horsepower, guys. 31 horsepower. That's massive. So a solid seven horsepower, six horsepower more from that battery. Um, that's that's gonna that's gonna greatly change everything. Acceleration as we go up into the top end. Um, I stopped the run at 80 miles an hour because there's no sense in pulling it so far on these. So you can see here, 80 miles an hour, 25 horsepower before versus 80 miles an hour. Actually at 90 miles an hour, I stopped it. But 80, 86 miles an hour, still making 31 horsepower. So massive gains, massive gains. Six plus horsepower all the way across the board. I, I mean, I'm, I'm still like trying to grab, grapple around this. That's, that's crazy. All that we did was change the battery, guys. So this, this battery is... Uh, the new new stuff i'm really excited about it unbelievable huh unbelievable gains I'm, I'm dumbfounded this is crazy this is over 30 horsepower in a suron uh with a relatively simple setup torp motor torp controller is a tc1000 tm25 and the next bat battery i am um, the 80 volt next bat battery i should say I um I can't even imagine what this thing's gonna do with the bigger motor because you guys know we're gonna end up having to put the big motor in. There's no end to this. It just keeps going and going and going. So um, I don't know that we're gonna get any top speed differences with the bigger motor. That's one thing I wanna put that out there. This motor can turn RPM. I know it, we've seen it. For a nice big haul, it's gonna do it. The extra voltage on tap being at 80 volts now versus 72 means that our RPM is gonna shift up. We will be able to rev further. We will be able to go faster because there is more power available in that 100 plus mile per hour territory. Uh, 102 miles an hour on the 72 volt setup. So by my estimations with an extra five to six horsepower on tap and that extra voltage so that the motor is more freely gonna turn, I, I think this thing will go 110. There, I said it, maybe even faster. Pretty crazy. Uh, aerodynamics are going to be the limiting factor, I believe, with this setup because I am still using a full height setup. This is not dumbed down. This is not aero enhanced. We still have fenders. We still have big bars. We still have a whole a whole bunch of frontal drag here, so frontal area. So uh, you know, th this is not the most aerodynamic setup. There's other guys that have got extended swing arms. They've dropped the bike down. They're not even running. Every, they're doing everything except the frame and uh and they're still not going to touch these numbers so i'm really really excited about this setup if you guys want to get one of these batteries of your own make sure you go check out darwin ev and tell them i sent you they'll get you the whole setup you want to go 100 miles an hour this is how you do it if you guys want to go 100 miles an hour on a suron and you're crazy like me get yourself this setup quit wasting time just bolt it on and go just make sure that you have a safe, safe place to test. I do not recommend doing this on the street. I do not recommend doing this with cars around, people around, anything like that. Find yourself a safe track, airstrip, whatever, have at it. But don't be doing this on public roads. Don't get us all in trouble, okay? Anyway, I'm going to go test ride this in the next video. So stay tuned. But there's the dyno, 31 plus horsepower. Wow.